Hey you guys, I thought I'd try to give you an actual example of doing a texture mod. So as you can see we have the game loaded here um, using half modified and half not modified uh, textures but that's just the way we go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this off to the side go over to the graphics tab, go to advanced and quickly hit dump textures and then press close, go back into the game make sure we load up all the textures just real quick make sure both sides of the court are loaded in and there we go a little bit of gameplay that's okay go back to the graphics tab advanced stop dumping out the textures go ahead and press close now we can go to the user folder dump textures there's our folder showing up now and now we have some of these textures here now not everything actually dumped so let's try this again let's start it up graphics advanced dump textures. Are we getting more coming out now? Why not? Press F5 maybe? There we go. Now we're getting some more textures loading out coming out of here. And just play a little bit. I'm probably doing this a little wrong but that's okay. I guess you just have to keep uh, dump textures on for a little bit longer than I anticipated. So let's go back to graphics. Let's stop it. I think we have enough textures now close. So now we have some, as you can see, we have some, uh, uh, we got Nash's uniform, uh, we got some hands, some different things right here. So let's say we want to, let's just edit Nash's, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> uniform here. So I'm going to do a right click, just do a copy on this, go all the way back out to the load textures, GNZ E69, this is where we load the textures in from the other video, and we're going to paste it right in here. Now I want to modify this, as f of course, so we're going to edit it with GIMP real quick. Boo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> so here it is, and if I want to, I can resize this image, so let's just go ahead and scale it up by twice as big. Boom, okay, why not? Because we just doubled the resolution for no reason. And this is for the sake of it, and nice and quick, let's just invert the colors. Beautiful. Go ahead and press save, close it out, close it out. So now we have this eight, quote unquote HD and right there. Go back into the game, and I believe you press F1. Nope, that doesn't work. Um, do I need to go back in here and stop loading them? I think that that reverts it back to the normal yep that reverts it back to the normal uniforms and then if I go back in here go to advanced load customs press start where's Nash there he is see that beautiful uniform right there we just made that's how easy it is to get them to load and unload now what you can do is I can right click this um, send it to a zipped folder and go ahead and, s and post this on the NLSC forums and anyone who loads up NBA Street Volume 2 will have Nash's uniform replaced with that. Now where this becomes fun is figuring out which player is which and um, with the uh, new updated rosters and creating uniforms for them that way. But that is how you do it. I hope this uh, recorded okay and that it helps and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck.